Now, one of the biggest issues when using a custom launcher like the Wolf launcher on our Amazon devices is the fact that once you've disabled the stock launcher, you have no direct access to your settings. So what that means is if I try to use my voice, open settings, that doesn't work. If I long press the home button, go to settings, and that also doesn't work. And the reason for that is when you disable the stock launcher, that also disables certain elements of the stock settings, which is why we can't access it directly anymore. Now in the past, I've always just said, open up the launcher manager. And here we can see we have the shortcuts to the common settings. So if you want to manage applications, you can click on that. And this then takes you to the applications. If you want to go to your MiFi TV settings, click on that. And that also takes you here. So that part works okay, but it just means that we have to open up this application first. And then from this application, we can launch whichever setting we want to change. But however, on my device, when I scroll down, we can see I have a brand new section called settings and I have five direct links I can click on. So if I want to configure my equipment, I can click on that. That takes me straight there. If I want to change my network settings, I can click on that and that takes me directly to that page. So we don't need to use any other application. We can now directly access all of our favorite settings directly from our custom launcher. So in this video today, let me show you how you can configure your Wolf launcher exactly like this and access all of your favorite settings directly from the home screen. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, Let's get started. If you're started. new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So I'm doing my demonstration on the 4K Fire Stick, but you can also follow this process on any other Amazon device as long as it runs Fire OS 6 or Fire OS 7. So for example, the second generation Fire TV Cube or the new Fire Stick Lite. And the way you just confirm what version you have, if you go to My Fire TV, go to About, and there we can see that I'm running Fire OS version 6.2.77. So any device running Fire OS 6 or 7, you can follow this procedure. So the first thing you want to do is just go over to Developer Options and make sure that you've got both these options set to on. Once you've done that, let's now press the Home button. Let's now go over to Downloader, and inside Downloader we can type in this special code which will take you directly to my website which is just 53402. Let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote. Now, when you get to my website, you want to head over to the hamburger menu, which is one of the three lines and click on tutorials. And I've just moved this tutorial to the top of the list because it has the new update in there. So let's scroll down. And here we can see we have the tutorial for the launcher manager for any Fire OS 6 or 7 device and also Android TV devices. So Let's open that up and let's scroll down. Here we have the step-by-step -step instructions. So the latest version of Wolf, which has this new fix is version 0.1.17. So that's the version we're going to be installing today. And we also need to install the Fire TV settings, which gives us access to those native settings on the home screen of the custom launcher. And also if you've never installed a custom launcher before and you want to follow this process, the only extra thing you need is also the launcher manager. So for the guys that have nothing, you need three things. For everybody else that already has a custom launcher, you need to install the Fire TV settings, which is this one here. Scroll down and get this version of Wolf. So let's do that now. And because I'm doing this on the 4K Fire Stick, this is the version I'm going to use. So let's click on that and click on the green download button. So that says two things we've installed at the moment, which is the launcher manager and our version of Wolf. Once you've installed both, Let's now press the home key. And just to confirm that you have the correct version of Wolf, if you go into your settings, applications, manage to install applications, scroll down in the list. And here we can see the Wolf launcher is now running version 0.1.7. So this is the latest version of Wolf. Once you have that, now if you don't have any custom launcher installed on your device, you also have to use the launcher manager, which is this application over here. Let's now click on disable stock launcher, one click, that should then disable that. You may see an ADB prompt the very first time you do that, but if you do see that prompt, click on OK and click on Always Allow. Once you've done that, we can now press the Home button. And we now get a prompt asking, what launcher do you want to use? Now, if you only have one launcher on your device, it will just take you straight to the Wolf launcher. 
in my case, because I've got the lean back launcher installed as well, I'm just going to select Wolf and select the option to always, which means whenever I press the home button, it will always take me to the Wolf launcher. Let's click on that. And here we are inside our custom launcher. Now, of course, the first time you do this on your device, your custom launcher is not going to look like this because you've not changed the background, you've not customized any of these sections, but the application is very, very easy to use. In fact, um, let's say for example, I want to create a new section. I can press the context key on the remote, which is one of the three lines. Let's go to launcher settings. Let's go to sections. I'm now going to go to uh, manager section. Let's click on add a section. And let's just call this settings because this is where we're going to put our new settings once we install them. So let's just call this settings. Let's click on apply. And there's a new section over there. And if I want to rearrange the order, I can click on this. And let's say I want to put it just uh, under my utils. Let's click on close. And now for example, this application, I want to move to my new section. I can again press the context key select the option to move to section. Let's now select uh, settings. And we can now see we have a new application in our settings section. So the launcher really is very easy to customize. Okay, so we now want to add in the custom shortcuts to our actual Fire TV settings. How do we do that? Once again, let's go back to my website. And from the same page, let's now install the Fire TV settings. So let's click on that. Let's scroll down and click on the green download button. And this will basically give you access to all of the Fire TV settings directly on the home screen of your custom launcher. So let's click on install. Let's now press the home key and let's scroll down. And by the way, if any of you guys are still with me in this video, then if you leave the comment below hashtag wolf, then I know you've made it this far in the video, which I really appreciate. I'll then heart that comment. Scroll down and we can see in our application list, we now have these five new icons and these will take you directly to the different settings on your Fire device. And as you can see by default, they're actually transparent and don't have a label on what they are. Although you can probably guess by the icons that this is for your Wi-Fi, this is for your remotes, but I personally like to change it. Now the easiest way to change is if you press the context key on that and let's click on configure. So we can see by default, this is configured for an app banner. But if I click on that, if I change that to vertical, we can see that actually says this is now equipment. You can also change the background. So if I could update background, uh, let's go for solid color. Uh, let's just use a random color. Uh, let's go for blue. Let's press the back button, back again. And we've now customized that. So again, I can go into this one, press the context key, go to configure, and let's just change that to vertical. All right, we're happy with that. And now let's move them into their own dedicated section. So if I now press the context key again, I can select the option and move to section. Let's select the setting section. That's now gone. Let's do the same for these ones here as well. Move to section, settings. Let's go back to the top. And there we have it guys. We now have these direct links taking us to the various settings on our Fire device. So if I want to manage my applications, I can click on that and that takes me straight to my applications. If I want to manage my uh, my Fire TV, click on that and that takes me directly there. And that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. This is just one of the updates that I had planned for a while for the Wolf Launcher. The next one's actually going to be a much bigger one where we'll be able to take a complete backup of your Wolf configuration. So your sections, your layouts, your background, you can back all of that up into a single bundle and then push that on to different devices. So configure your launcher once on one device and you can then have the same layout on two multiple devices. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed. If you found this video useful, then please do give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more stuff like this, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. As always, I always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments. So do let me know what you think. Leave me a comment below and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.